the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. And all this is important for people to understand. That's why we want to study this to ourselves approved because it's so many things interrelated to to the topic. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see right here. Genesis chapter 2. I'm going to bring it up in a second. I just want to get to it. It was the last three verses or two verses that were in the scripture. I'm going to share it. See what you think here. Okay. I'll let you go there. It says, I think it said the, I think it's actually, well, we're 24 and 25. What you got? Therefore, shall a man leave his father, cleave unto his wife? No, that's not it. It's not, it's the last one after 25. After 24. 24 just okay. leading to it. Okay, and they were both naked, the mm -hmm. man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Meaning they, see what I'm saying? They they were not ashamed the fact that they were naked. So that means they knew they were physically naked. Yeah. Right? And were not ashamed. Just like little just like little babies, right? <laughs> they they walk around naked. They don't think they're not ashamed of it at all, you know? But so when three came up, let's see, I'm gonna hit three. You can just go ahead, you got six and seven. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, mm -hmm. and that it was pleasant to the eyes, well, and a tree to be desired to make one wise. Mm -hmm wonder where she got that from she took of the fruit thereof yeah and did he yeah and gave also unto her husband with her and he did it yes and they in the eyes of them both were opened mm -hmm. and they knew that they were naked yeah and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons and now, it's interesting that you read too, they knew they, they were naked, you know, physically naked. Uh -huh. So that nakedness was not the physical, was it? It was not the physical nakedness. No. It was a spiritual nakedness. Yes, because yeah. uh, no other being created mm -hmm. on this earth was mentioned about being naked. Mm -mm. Now, he created everything on this earth that lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yet, man is the only one that was naked and was mm -hmm. mentioned being mm -hmm. naked. Mm -hmm. So all the animals, all the you know the birds, the the, the everything, the mammals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, everything was not naked. It was right. all, everything was clothed in something. Something to deal with the elements around it. Yes. Yes. And we're the only beast. <laughs> the only thing. The only creation that was said to be naked, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uncovered, mm -hmm. was man. Yes. And yeah. but was not ashamed of it because mm -hmm. we were actually clothed in glory. Yeah, in glory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I Those mean, our, our our protection from the element was God Himself. Exactly. Yeah. That is all with a dwelling so in the secret that's place. That's where we're trying to get back to the protection uh -huh. of the elements. Yeah. Is God Himself. Exactly. Being clothed in God. Exactly. And then Christ was sent to say, I am the way. Yes. The truth and the life. And nobody going to the Father but by me. Yeah. Right? 
So the law was it was just, just like we talked a couple of weeks ago, which it's just a was just a schoolmaster. Right? Yeah. So 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 I think the part about the this what I wanted to bring up is verse four. And, and see what see verse four said? And, and the serpent said unto the woman, You shall, you not, shall not truly die. Surely die. Mm -hmm. That 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 is uh let me see. Because two was, I mean, three was the one she said, but the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God said. Now, see what I'm saying is, mm -hmm. she is quoting, even though she has some gravy to it, she is quoting, God said, you shall not eat of it, right? Then she has some gravy to it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die, right? That That is the commandment he gave um, Adam, lest you die. The piece of our needed you touch it was an added, it really it was this additional barrier to keep you from eating the fruit. You know, don't even touch it. Because <laughs> if you touch it, then you're going to pick it up and you're going to eat it. <laughs> right? If I don't touch it, I won't eat it. <laughs> You know what I mean? I mean, he actually used the same words <laughs> that God used. Uh -huh. You know, I thought he might have used something different. I had to go make sure because he says, you shall not surely, surely die. die. Exactly. And he God contradicted. Said, the day you eat thereof, thou shalt surely die. Yeah. Yeah. Now, listen exactly what he said in two, right? It was in 217, wasn't it? What did he say? What did he say? He said, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Mm-hmm. See? So that that's a that part right there, the touching piece is out of it, but the part he said, that day too, isn't it? Did you catch that? Did you catch that too? That day, yeah, you should surely die. And what was that day? Because you remember it right back to three again. Yeah, day the eyes was was open right after they ate. That and day wasn't was, it? Death was at the door when when he touched the thing. Exactly. Actually, was at the door when she listened to a third party agent. Uh huh you know, uh, going against God's will. She she did the same thing that Moses did in the sense of, what did I tell you to do, yeah. right? I told you uh, to speak to that rock. I told you not to eat of that fruit. And you did it. Yeah. And you gave it to your husband. That's interesting too, wasn't it? Yeah. The day that she ate that fruit, did she not recognize before she even gave it to her husband that she was naked mm. and that he was closed with glory? You know what I mean? Yeah. That 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 could have been that could have been the mercy and grace for her right then and there. Said, oh, ooh, don't, oh, 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 no, you don't want this. <laughs> you know what I mean, brother? Yeah. You 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 don't want this. You you don't want this. But what was wrong, babe? What's wrong? No, no, you don't. My eyes are open now, <laughs> and, and, and and what I see, I don't like. Well, the way it reads, no one's eyes were open until Adam ate. Oh, then let's see, let's see, let, let, let's see. Is that what you say? Let's see that. Uh, that which is which I won't. Well, that's that's what they said. Then. Let me see. Okay, for okay, that's where we in Genesis, right? Yeah, okay. Three six. Yeah. Three six. And three, when seven, the woman three, saw seven. the three seven. Three six and seven. Uh, okay. It says, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, 
Mm -hmm. and a tree to be desired to, to make one wise. Mm -hmm. She took of the fruit thereof and mm -hmm. did eat, mm -hmm. and gave also unto her husband with her, uh -huh. and he did eat. Uh -huh. And the eyes of them both were opened. So it was after Adam ate, both of their eyes were mm. opened. And they that's knew that they were naked. Yeah, that's interesting that you're right. There was, there we, you know, obviously, we're going to have to go. You, you'd have to be there and, and ask Eve exactly. to, to know. <laughs> but in my mind, the woman was placed under the man. She was. She was. And so all the authority was given to the man to, to be a god over this physical realm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He and was the first. The woman yeah. was the helpmate right. to that. Mm -hmm. But whatever she had, it flowed from the head down to her. So, it did, yeah. So when he ate, both their eyes were open, and and uh, because I think it would have said his eyes was open or. Or I don't know, but that's just the way I I believe. Well, they did. They, at least we, I guess you could say the fact that he said he didn't say instantly you shall die, right? Yeah. He said that day you shall die. Yeah. So, like I said, it could be a a uh, transitioning period between what Eve did and giving it to her husband. You know what I mean? She she was just probably basking in the knowledge and the wisdom. The, uh, of what was coming to her being fed, right? At that time, she already gave it to him. Said, "Man, this tastes good." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And and then it's okay. But Based the sad on that, thing is, she couldn't give it to him. He wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he was there. He was listening all the happened. time. Yeah. You know, now maybe she walked away and gave it to him. You know, <laughs> but it, even if she did walk away to go find him to give it to him. And he did eat. That means that her eyes wasn't open until he ate. Which is true. Whatever, because the bottom line is, sound like I say he he was with her, didn't it? It so it doesn't say see. he was with her. Someone on the said it was there. Let me see what it says here. Okay, the you uh, surely die. Okay, and it said when the woman saw that she blah blah blah, she did eat. She, she took other fruit thereof and did eat and gave it unto a husband with her. See that? Yeah. Yeah. So he was with her. Now, like you said, that's semantic in itself, right? Yeah. I could be on, I'm in this room, yeah. right? But I'm with by, you know. He'd be with her in the garden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but you, and then like I said, it says she was deceived. At least the Bible script says she was deceived. Yeah. She says she was deceived. But he was not. Mm -hmm. Because all he did, regardless, right, is even if, let's say, he was not close enough to hear what was being said, he was close enough to see what she presented to him. Yeah. Does that make well, sense? I believe he knew what it was because it was pointed out to him, don't eat this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when this came to him, he ate it. He ate it. He took it right away, right? Yeah. So in other words, he was convinced of what the opposite, what the serpent was saying too. You shall not surely die. Contradiction of what, what God said, right? That was the first law <laughs> that God gave them. Same yeah. as he told Moses, speak to the rock. Hey, look at it, Saul. What, what was your commandment? What did I tell you to do? Well, you know, I'm I'm reading this in three seventeen. Uh -huh. <laughs> seventeen. Let me go seventeen. <laughs> go ahead. What what about it? See now, me me being Ooh. me Ooh, being human. Voice. Me being human. <laughs> I would use this on my wife. <laughs> I, I shouldn't hearken under what your voice is saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because that was 
That's what God said. Because you listen to your wife. Ooh. 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 Hey, d- based on that saying, is that it wasn't because you listened to the serpent. Right? No, it says because you, you listen to your wife. To thy wife. You did. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Because he. Because you knew what I said. God said, you knew what I said. I told you. Yeah. yeah. But you he, listened to your wife. He he didn't stay in position. Exactly. He was found out of position. Yeah. He was found, yeah. found out. He was. He was just out of position. He put exactly. his wife over, yeah. over him. Over him, over God. Because it and didn't say, God. it didn't sound like he listened. And uh, over God. Because Eve said she listened to the snake, the serpent. Yeah. But she, it, he listened to her. Her. Isn't that interesting? The chain of events. It's not something. God is saying, you, you, he didn't even blame the serpent on that. He said, you listen to your wife. Yeah. Woo, deep. Says, you hearken unto the voice of your wife. Yeah. And hath eaten of the tree. Mmm. 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 Not, not Satan. He That's true. He listened to his wife. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Think about it, right? <laughs> yeah. I she the one that's my wife. Look, I ain't listening to my wife no more. <laughs> <laughs> if if it's contrary, if it's contrary, if it's contrary, the will of God. God, God this Ooh. ain't it. That's gonna be my wife. <laughs> Try that's it. gonna be my wife. God didn't say that. <laughs> God didn't say. <laughs> and know what she gonna say? Oh, it is written what he yeah, said. It is written. I, 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 I ain't telling you this is my opinion. This is what's written, right? Hey, no, anybody listen to that? Say, she gonna say, cursed is the ground you stand on. <laughs> <laughs> the sweat of the ground, the thorns of the thistle are going to you, boy, yeah. you cursed. <laughs> Oh, you about to get some thorns and thistles, bro. Yeah, and I need you to go do that because we got to cook this food. So you got to. Yeah. <laughs> so that that is interesting. Uh, about I never, I never paid attention to that. Mm-hmm. It is interesting because it wasn't he. He hopped. Adam listened to the snake. She the one that listened to the snake, right? Yeah. That was she he said, listened, right? Yeah, he listened to her. Yeah, he listened to her. That is very interesting. She was carrying that conversation with the snake. She said then said the serpent deceived me, right? And I did eat. And then the Lord said unto the serpent, he went down in the line, didn't he? Didn't he? Yeah. He, he he went by the the, the order he of things. He went in the order of sin. Yeah. And who he called? Who did he call anyway? He called Adam. Yes, he did. He didn't say Adam and Eve, did it? No, oh, he called Adam and Eve. They were Adam. Uh, okay, all right. You can put it in that perspective. Yeah, okay, all right. But but you can tell the reason I'm saying that is he called he who he addressed Ooh. first. This is some other symbolisms here. Uh huh. So where did Eve come from? Mm-hmm. A rib from his side. Yes, he did. Paul had a thorn in his side. Ooh. Oh, Jesus no. was pierced in his side. Ooh. 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 So I'm, I'm looking. <laughs> Ooh. At the, Ooh. the, the where, where, where Eve came from. Mm. Deep. That that is interesting. That's symbolically speaking, anyway, yeah, right? Yeah, some, some yeah. symbolisms there. So, and and I think the fact is, when even though we said Adam, right? Yeah, he was who he first was addressing them to dressing was Adam, Adam. right? Uh, maybe Adam, but he's talking to Adam. Yeah, and he's 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 saying he said, 
And he said, I heard that. He said, where are thou? Where are you? Yeah. And he said, where are where, where both of you are, right? He, he'll focus on where you are. Yeah, because you know what? He was no longer tied to the spiritual realm. Yeah. He was yeah. all physical at that point. Mm -hmm. and, because and like, the spirit yeah. was separated. Exactly. At the moment he ate. And you know, it's funny though, he said that that, that question first, and that, look how that lines up with Abel too. I just want to throw this about this, yeah, where are where thou? thou? Right? And, and like you said, you know, God is like everywhere. So I mean, one preacher was talking about, he was saying is, Adam, do you know where you are? Uh-huh. You know, I, I, where are thou? Because you're not in your place. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you recognize you're not in the place I put you? Mm -hmm. You're in another place, right? So it says, where are thou? And then when he asked Cain, I mean, what, what? He knew where he knew where Abel oh, yeah, was. He knew where he was, but he asked him. He asked him. See what I'm saying? When that when he brings that question is not where you physically are. Do you understand what you have done? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was deep. That for people to listen, that's how that's how revelation comes. You can you can find more nuances. Oh yeah. Uh, in in the scriptures. And 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 because of your your desire to get into the word. Mm -hmm. the, the more you do, the more you have to get an understanding. Yes. The yeah. clearer the understanding is, the, the, mm -hmm. the clearer the picture is. Yeah. Because yeah. like I said, everything is line upon line, precept upon precept. Mm -hmm. So, you know, here a little, there a little. And so when you grab all those all those littles, yeah. <laughs> you have a lot. You have a lot. It's, it's, it's cumulative, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it it helps in knowing uh, how these things fit together. And the, and the spirit is the one that brings all the truth of it all. He does. Together. Yeah. And matter of fact, for, for other people, when we talk about being naked, you know, you got that there, right? Say naked, right? Mm -hmm. And then we and we we conclude that spiritual nakedness, yeah. and the reason I'm telling people that may those who want to dabble and understand it, if you go to Revelation, the churches, remember the churches, mm -hmm. and we're talking about the last one, right? That last church, layer the seal, seal, and you remember what he said, right? Do you remember what he said on that record? The the, the uh, naked. Do, do you remember that? If you don't, we're gonna go to it. Don't worry. I just wanted to see if you remember. I, I was I was actually researching something while you were talking, so I didn't. Okay. Really the, hear the, the, you say. When we're talking about the fact is that in the garden, they were both naked, uh -huh. and they hid themselves. And we were trying to make sure that people understand that we not. He's not talking about physical, you know nakedness yes yeah. spiritual nakedness and mm -hmm. then i'm showing you reference a scripture that, that backs that up okay. which is in revelation chapter three dealing with the church of laodicea you know mm -hmm. where he would you know you can read 14 break it down to him for him 14 okay. to the angels of the church of laodicea right these things saith the amen the faithful and the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou work cold or hot, so that because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of thy out of my mouth, because thou sayest I am rich and increased with God with goods and have need of nothing and notice not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked and naked see that yeah. they had no need of nothing 
but God is saying is you you inside that's what this is what you are and this is how I see you you know and I would suspect that Adam and Eve that's what they saw yeah. you know that oh I'm, I'm 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 disconnected and they hid themselves and maybe back in Genesis I mean Exodus chapter 20 you said you said the same thing, right? Because mm -hmm. that's what that's what I was keying off on was the the uh, the scripture where they said, let me go back to it. Less, you remember that they said, "Less Moses, you talk to us," mm -hmm. because if 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 God talks to us, basically, what's that? See, the same word was there. You remember, die. You know, mm -hmm. lest we die, because back in Genesis, that's why I was kidding that word in, you shall surely what? Die. Yeah. Yeah. And they're basically keying in off to me. They were referring really back to the original sin. We would die. In other words, I, I heard his commandments, I saw all that, but you talk to us because if we talk to him that right that's what it's saying right mm -hmm. back to ooh, back to your revelation you hawk into the voice of the your wife you didn't hawk into what i said mm -hmm. look what they're saying let but let not god see that yeah but my you... preference my preference was to hear somebody else yeah Woo. <laughs> It, and that, that's probably the concept of most people. I don't want to hear direct. I'd rather hear from you. Now I can argue with you. I can fuss with you. I can I can say all kind of blasphemous things to you. I'm not going to address God. If I can even try to pretend he's not there, <laughs> I, I, I can do what I want to do. I can say what I want to say. But they don't want to say that to God. So, We'll close with that. I'm going to turn around and go to the script I wanted you to read, right? Okay. If I'm a, for live, I'm going to cut off on that. I may call that, uh, uh, are you naked? <laughs> 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 Something of that nature. <laughs> so I'm going to go back and then we'll come back and actually read that so we could wrap it up, uh, the script for the day, because I wanted to bring this up. All right, see y'all later. God bless you. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.